Lib Dems have traditionally always been the anti-Brexit party, the pro-European party. But of course, now Brexit has happened. I wonder how you're going to alter your message to reflect this new reality, but at the same time, stay true to your constituents. Well, we will always remain pro-European, and we think in the long term, Britain's interests, our economic interests, our business, our commercial interests, are best served by as being a member of the European Union. You're right, we have to take the situation as we find it. And so we've been focused on the trade deal that Boris Johnson has agreed. And when we've looked at that, and when we've spoken to businesses, small and large, about that trade deal, Many of them tell us that it's a very bad trade deal. It's a botched trade deal. And we're seeing the damage already. We're seeing businesses unable to export because the, this is the first trade deal in history to erect barriers to trade. It's become more expensive, more delayed, more difficult, more bureaucratic. And so Boris Johnson hasn't been the free trader. He's been actually anti-trade. And so Liberal Democrats, as a party that believes in free trade, that believes in markets, in business and uh, enterprise, and wants to back small business and the self-employed who are trying to get on in life and, and trying to build those jobs of the future, we will remain pro-European and will show that this, this deal has to be improved in many, many practical ways which would help trade and help business. Well, talking about being pro-business, do you think the government has done enough to support some of the smaller businesses out there? And have they done enough with the furlough scheme? Not at all. Um, the government has forgotten small business as far as we can see. Yes, there have been some uh, benefits, but there's been about three million small businesses, micro business, self-employed people who receive no help whatsoever. And Liberal Democrats don't believe we can see the sort of strong recovery with lots of jobs created unless we're supporting small business and the self-employed. If you look over the last 30 years of economic history, it's been the small business sector, the micro business sector that created the vast amount of jobs. Yet the government hasn't supported this sector anywhere near enough during the pandemic. And so what Liberal Democrats are saying as we approach the budget we're expecting in the United Kingdom next week, that it needs to be a small business uh, focused budget to make sure that the recovery is sustainable, is green, is tackling climate change, but is also creating those jobs by getting behind those small businesses that are so crucial in every village, town and city in our country.